Holly Squad, hope you're all doing well. We're going on holiday tomorrow and we're all very excited. We're now gonna go to Gatwick Airport because we're gonna stay overnight in a hotel. And the hotel we're staying at is called Block. And the reason I chose that hotel out of all the hotels in the area is because they give you a booklet of coupons with discounts to use inside the airport. How cool is that? Yeah, now, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So we're not gonna reveal the destination which we're going to in this vlog. You'll see that in the next one. But we want you all to guess in the comments below. So we're now gonna head off and go to Gatwick. Mario's just jumped in the car and got onto Callum's lap and he wants to go with us. But Pigs. you can't, Mario. Pigs can't fly. Pigs can't fly. Pigs can't fly. Go on then. Go on, Pigs. Go on. Bye-bye, no, Piggles. Bye-bye. Vacation at Nanny's. Yeah. Three hours later. We're finally at the short stay parking at Gatwick Airport after me putting in the wrong postcode well the postcode for the block hotel but not the postcode for the parking so we were going around and around and around for ages but we're here and we're just gonna get like this sorted because we've just got to go in and speak to a few people at an office because it's valet parking so they take your car away and then they have it ready when you come back because i had a fantastic offer well, I found a fantastic offer for it. And it's even better because when we were coming in, there was a sign with the prices and it was extortionate. And I paid literally yeah. something like £40 and it's over like 150 Yeah. <laughs> You're creepy, man. You're creepy, Cal. Go, so, have you been? I'm taking pictures of mileage and stuff. Oh, okay. You're scared because it's Valley Parking, right? They're going to go off with it. Hey, look, I'm not having some random bloke drive my car up and down 50 miles, all right? Well, I say my car, it's your car. Well, you got a little girl who's just made her way to the front seat. <laughs> it is so cold here. Like, we've had the heat on and we just opened the door. It's flipping freezing. No, it's not. It is, it's cold. You've got coats on, girls. I haven't. If only we were going somewhere hot. Where are you at? We've just got the luggage out of the car and I just want to show you the luggage straps I bought off eBay. You can personalise them with whatever you want and they're only $5.99 with free delivery. There you are. That's heavy. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Well, I just looking at the cases, there's actually not a lot actually. I've took more than this when we've gone to London for a couple of nights. We're in Gatwick Airport now and we've just found a photo booth which we've been looking for because I bought one of these on eBay. It's a Toy Travellers of the World passport and I got it for Flopsy Bunny and Chocolate Bunny which are Molly and Bella's toys which they can't be without. And inside you have to put the information of the Toy Travellers and a photo. So we're going to get that now but I don't know how I'm going to do it. Like I'm thinking like dedication what you do as a parent like I'm thinking maybe like this I don't know like oh I'm getting funny looks to change the position please use the arrows on the left of the screen then press ok to take the photo oh actually look I can cover my face look I can cover my face but then um, um, look, tell me if I get a bit of picture like this. Alright, let's get her ear in. Look, look, got to get a good picture. Alright, Molly. Alright, that's cool. So Molly, press the green tick. Please look straight ahead. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, my arms. One. Oh, the excitement. <laughs> I remember and I used to be fascinated with these machines so yeah so here's our pictures of chocolate bunny and flopsy bunny which we can put inside here the only thing we haven't got any scissors we're gonna have to figure this out yeah, we'll work it yeah please stand clear of the door and hold on to the rail oh, yay. Oh, yay. I miss being a kid where everything is so exciting no, Look how excited they are.
when your legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> oh, so funny when you're tired. So we're just coming to the entrance to the block hotel. All right, where is like the Three. reception? Three. Three. Oh, I'm so hungry. Yeah. You're not coping well. Okay. I've had no water or drink. Man, I'm so thirsty. That's a <laughs> I've got the coupon book, which is exclusive to Block Hotel guests. And you can see what's inside here. I've just looked. A lot of the restaurants are closed. Giraffe closed at nine. Nando's closed at nine. Pretty much. Boots closed at nine, where you can get a meal deal. I don't understand it because at Waterloo Station, where we go a lot, they're open till about eleven, aren't they? It's weird. I thought an airport, considering you know planes are going all the time, they'd be open a little longer. So just gonna have a look. So at Cafe Nero, you get ten percent discount. There's 50% off gin creation cocktail, and there's full English and a drink for 8.75, which is standard. You get cheeseburger and a drink for 15. You got the loungers, you get 25% discount, but we're not gonna go in one of those. Um, Garfunkel's, two breakfasts for 15. You've got Jamie's Italian, free glass of <sighs> Prosecco, is that right? Yay! Everybody knows I can't pronounce it but I just did, right? But you have to make a purchase um, to get that. So these aren't really good, but you know, just going through a few more Nando's, which I would have used, but it's closed. But they have got Marks and Spencer's Food Hall, which is open 24 hours and you get 10% discount. So I'm gonna be using that one today. So we should just go um, and have a look. There's also, I don't know if this Cafe Nero, cause that's, that's sandwiches, isn't it? I think so, it's like oh. a coffee, coffee oh, place. Oh, is it? Is yeah. it a coffee place? I thought they do sandwiches. Well, yeah, they do sandwiches. Well, but... there's 10% off, so let's just take this down and see what we can find. Callum's just spotted a Weatherspoon, so we're going to go up there and see if they're open for, well, the next hour or so, so we can get something to eat. Hey, folks. So, um, there's nothing really on this menu what Holly can eat. Uh, the kids are way happy with a sandwich, so they actually asked for that. Yeah. So, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to get a few pints in, have a burger, and I'm going to sit by myself and have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. By yourself at a family table. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go down to M&S and see food. And then we're going to go back to the plot. So, this is a prime example. Don't go shopping when you're hungry. But... Some of this is for snacks on the plane, and it weren't actually that much, so all good. Hey, well, it's good. So, apparently, my plan was to get a beer and a burger, as I, yeah, you saw. Turns out that didn't happen because when I got to the like to the bar, I said, Can I have you my burger, please? I'm a table 35. What drink would you like? Ah, oh, could I have a San Miguel? Thank you. And he just stood there for a second. And can I see some ID, please? I was like, yeah, sure, no worries. Got the wallet out, and I was like, Holly's got my ID. Right, so I just ordered my food, right? And I got my drink, right here. Right. That's not beer. That is apple juice. I had to get a non-alcoholic drink because I got ID'd, and I don't have my ID with me. Holly's got it in her bag. I'm almost thirsty. And I got ID'd. <laughs> this destroyed me. I have apple juice. Apple juice! Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Thanks for watching our pre-holiday vlog in all four corners. Our subscriber shout outs. If you'd like one, let us know in the comments below. And until next time, we will see you soon. Goodbye. Next time we're gonna be at our destination.